Okay. Uh, audio check first. Audio check. All right. Let's see. Hindi hindi announced po itong. Ano ba to? Hindi po announced itong live na to. Hindi siya nag check na your phone. Actually, nili ko sa. Yan. This is an unannounced ano, live Pero uh, marami po kasi nagtatanong About the significance of the resignation Di umano ng One of the editors of Manila Times Supposedly over a disagreement Dun sa Pagpapublish Nung alleged that matrix uh, The article of which was uh, Was written himself by the publisher Si Mr. Dante Ang Okay I don't have the details or tag. Hindi ko sa ulo yung details. Pero ganito lang po yung take natin doon. Ginagawa ng, ng Rappler na parang napakahalaga itong resignation na ito. Una-una, we have to find out. Anong klaseng editor ba to? Was he the editor-in-chief? Was he the... Now, this, does this person have the kind of discretion that was overruled by the publisher? Now, even assuming that were true, merong discretion itong uh, nag-resign na editor sa Manila Times at uh, maaari siyang ano, mag, kumbaga, he usually has the discretion to determine what gets printed or not tapos in overrule siya ng publisher niya what does this mean? what does it mean to all of us? nothing because all newspapers and all ano uh, all newspapers and even ano news uh, outlets bah, biglang dumilim news outlets, lahat sila meron tinatawag na editorial policy. At yung editorial policy na to, yan, yung editorial policy na to will determine what stories get written, what stories get published, even what stories get pulled out. Lahat po yan meron. Even Rappler has an editorial policy. At may chance ng editorial policy ng Rappler ay laban sa gobyerno or laban kay Duterte or in a particular line of interest makikita nyo naman kung ano yung mga pahayagan na, na at kung saan sila nag-a-adhere to a particular line of thinking this is not illegal okay? oo, nasa Jollibee ako kasi walang parking so dito ako nag -ano. anyway uh, the point here is that it, can, it shouldn't be a big deal it should not be uh, It should not be a major issue because para namang objective ang mga pahayagan, eh hindi naman totoo yun. ba? Diba? Lahat may kinikilingan whether they favor the government or against it. Uh, um, or against it, then yun yun. They, they get to determine that. And if you cannot agree with the editorial policy, then you're always free to go somewhere where you agree with, with that kind of thinking. ba? Diba? Bakit nila ginagawang mahalaga? Oh, they want to make it look like may hero dito. At uh, of course, anti-hero or villain yung ano, yung Jario, yung Manila Times. Kasi, why? What did they do that was so that was so wrong? Dumilin. Anyway, wala na pa na siya. Anyway, so yun yun. Let's not... Why, why, why is Rappler making a big deal out of it? Because it is part of their propaganda. It is part of their... Uh, if there is indeed an oust the president move and Rappler is supposedly part of it, then this is also part of the propaganda. To make noise, uh, to make it look like yung mga ano, yung... Itong Manila Times did something inherently wrong and that there's somebody who's trying to be a hero at the expense of his job. He disagrees with uploading this particular article. Why? Diba? Why? Some stories see the light, see light some stories don't. Ako, I've been the object of several stories before and the object of several non-stories before. Does it really matter? In the end, it's all about the editorial policy. Now, was Manila Times doing something illegal? Well, we don't know. Was it libel? Hmm, I seriously doubt it. I don't see, ano, I don't see any malice in it. Then, ano, nadidilim ko rin ako. Ayan, huwakan ko na lang. Hindi ako makakain. Ayan. So, so, hindi, ano, 
hindi nag-worry ako because so many people appear to be worried. Oh, tinatanong ako, oh, totoo ba itong rappler na sinasabi na nag-resign daw yung isang editor? Para sa akin, oh, so what? So what? Editors resign over, ano, over different things. Over salaries, uh, they're not happy with the job, they don't agree. Anybody who may... Hmm. Ayan, tuloy kumakain ako. Ayan. Hmm. Okay. Sorry. Blama ba? We, we sympathize with the editor who resigned. Now, it is possible that he was resigning. Excuse me. For ethical reasons. Hmm. He doesn't agree that that story should have seen light. He doesn't agree that that should have been published. I mean, this is merely a difference of opinion between the publisher and the editor. But it will also turn on whether or not that particular editor has a say, has a decision, and that the publisher overrules him. The publisher can, in fact, overrule the editor-in-chief. So in the pecking order, talaga naman pwede siyang i-overrule. So what? Diba? And sa akin, we have to be careful that uh, we are aware that we're being played also by the other side. So for those of you who are so worried that they actually had to send me messages, uh, they had to actually send me messages na, oh, totoo ba to? Ang sinasagot ko parati, and I hope you don't find it na, na nagtataray ako, is that if it is, so what? Diba? Is that our problem? They had a difference of opinion regarding the editorial content of the newspaper and the, the publisher overruled him. Okay, life goes on. We are sympathies. We would like to sympathize with the editor, but we also understand that this is the nature of things. Diba? Uh, I hope he finds another job. I hope uh, he does well. We don't wish him bad. We don't wish him ill. We also don't, we don't even wish Maria Ressa any bad, bad things to happen to her. But there is such a thing as, you know, you make your choices, then you deal with the consequences. Yan lang yan. Di tayo galit, di tayo ano. And um, well, I understand that, uh, that the publisher, Mr. Dante Ang, actually wanted to fire him. Pero inunahan siya at sinabing nag-resign siya. I think the bigger issue here is whether he resigned or he was fired. Diba? And in which case, that becomes a labor issue now between the two of them. And uh, I don't think there's any public interest involved in that. Other than the usual public interest of uh, uh, appropriate rules on labor being followed. Diba? Sabi ni Paolo Anaceto, and I'll just have a few questions ha, kasi hindi predictable yung signals dito. I mean, BGC checking out the the venue for tomorrow's activity. So, sabi ni Paolo Anaceto, he thinks he's indispensable. The kabilang parliament's big deal out of it. News was that he had his marching orders first before the spin. So, yun nga, we have to be aware that this, this is being spun. But in the end, it is really between him and the publisher. And if there was a ano, violation of the labor code, then he can take it to the NLRC and have it litigated there. Diba? Sabi ni John Oi Arauda, hoping all employees will resign sir after. Sabi ni Teresita Almedilla, and uh, here's a, a first. Ma'am, your audio is very clear. Ah, thank you. Okay, sabi ni Celia Pellefor, and our Rappler released an article. Big Boss is Duterte's PR guy. Eh, ano ngayon? Exactly. Eh, ano ngayon? Diba? Why? These people have no right to, to write whatever they want. What they're doing are ad hominems. Diba? Sisiraan mo yung tao, bibigyan mo na yung dimension yung tao. But sige, let's say that Mr. Ang is in fact the PR, which he isn't in a private capacity, no? A special envoy siya. Assuming that he was. Oh, assuming that he was. Mm. Sorry, makain na naman. Assuming that he is. Assuming that Mr. Ang is the PR of Mr. Duterte. Does not make what he is saying right or wrong. It doesn't. In an argument, you attack the argument, not the person. 
So even if Mr. Ang was the brother, the nanny, the whatever of Mr. Duterte, it doesn't attack the argument. Diba? So what? Tapos meron pa yung mga arguments ng Rattler, yung mga tipong, there is no evidence. Madam, we can present our evidence in the court of law. My question is, if there is no evidence, why are you reacting? Ayun, ah, sorry, makain na naman. Ang masama yung signals. So, at any rate, di ba, ah, if, if there is no evidence, then ako, I would have done it this way. Okay, Mr. Duterte, whoever, Mr. Arms or Mr. Duterte's statements have no evidence. Um, they are merely assertions on their part. And, so yeah, it's free. It's a free world. They're, they're free to say whatever it is they want. Um, but if they ever come up with evidence, then I hope they file it in court and we will see them there so that we can answer the charges. But they're not. They're not doing that. Instead, hala, humaharabas talaga sila na um, it's badly written. Uy, may mga ganun pa sila. It's, um, uh, ano ba yun? Oh, I, yun, sorry. It's okay. Finally, di ba? If there's no evidence, then they can just say, Okay, Mr. Duterte, file your case in court. We'll answer you there. Okay, Mr. Ang, if you think that there's something to that, then we'll wait for the court case. Drama lang everything else. Yung mga tipong naku, kawawa naman si ganito, natanggalan ng trabaho. Uy, kawawa naman si ganito. Oh, we're being oppressed. Yay! Diba? Shit. Yeah. So, in the end, in the end, diba? What's this all about? Wala, humahanap sila lang sila, humahanap sila ng another victim para i-set up nila. Diba? Then it's fine. Kebs. Diba? Um, bakit? Gusto ba nila yung katulad ng mga Bicoy videos na meron silang mga fake na evidence? We're not doing that. We're not manufacturing evidence. These assertions were made, these conclusions were made, well, we supposedly backed up by something. And sige, ako, I'm willing to wait for that something. And if it's not, it's a word war. And if, you know, why do they appear so worried? Yun yung pinagaano ko. Why do they appear so worried? Bakit kaya? Kasi I think, ang pinaka-worrisome na reaction dito isn't Rappler or Miss Ellen or anybody, anybody else there, but the reaction of the DOJ secretary who said the evidence has been documented. Diba? So, good luck na lang to this particular case. So, for those na nag-PPN sa akin, those na nagtatanong dun sa mga comment section, pati sa Karabola, uh, kung totoo man yung ano that that he either resigned or was fired or anything like that big deal so he did i mean it's not a big deal for us of course we sympathize that uh, mr felipe bayon uh, has lost his job or doesn't have a job and we have we have sympathies for him it's not easy to 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 be unemployed so uh, without actually uh, diminishing the, the possibility that he will suffer, we still say, in the bigger scheme of things, in the Duterte versus the people trying to undermine him are concerned, no big deal. So, diba? what I'm waiting to see is you know, uh, more evidence. Kumbaga, sinabi ni Duterte is going to expose the funding. That's the next big thing. Diba? Uh, guys, I'll see you tomorrow ha, sa BGC. I hope to see you in front of Facebook headquarters. San ba yun? Ano si 32nd Street? It's on 32nd Street uh, in the Menarco building in BGC. So uh, it's not a rally in the strict sense of the word, just a gathering of people who are a little upset over Facebook policies here in the Philippines. Uh, see you, ha, lalo na yung mga taga Makati. Uh, we'll be there with us and uh, with my Mark Lopez. Uh, don't forget to like and share this, this Facebook Live and please don't